Are you a photographer looking to grow your business into more than a side gig or a few thousand dollars of income here and there? Or maybe you're just starting out and you're looking for guidance from some of the best in the industry. Either way, attending conferences, events, and workshops is a great way to network, learn new techniques, and get inspired. In this video, I wanna share three of the best conferences, events, and workshops for photographers in 2023. So grab a cup of hot tea and let's get started. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty, and this channel is for photography business owners to learn how to build a thriving photography business and still be there for your family. You shouldn't have to pick. If this is a dream of yours, then make sure to snap the subscribe button and click the bell notifications to stay on top of what I think is the best business photography content on YouTube. Look, do you love attending live conferences, events, or workshops? If so, share in the comments what your favorite photography event is to attend. I wanna share with you the three best conferences, events, and workshops for photographers in 2023. And listen, before you say, oh, I have a bunch of kids, I don't have time, I work full time, I thought the same thing. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna study at home and figure it out on my own or do study at home programs. And I'm telling you, and I was saying in my business that Good things happen when we leave home. So put it on your wish list that you can leave home or at least schedule the time to attend these if they're virtual. It will change your life. First off, Imaging USA. This is the Professional Photographers of America conference and they have it every year and it moves around the country. This conference is known for focusing on photography education and 2023 will be no different. You'll see some of the top photographers in the world demonstrate how they get the perfect image. It's inspirational, it's motivational, and there's a trade show and so many cool things and hanging out with photographers for a couple of days is pretty cool. This is a conference I went to when I was first starting out and I met so many amazing people. It's a really great place if you're a beginner, especially if you haven't chosen a business model yet. If you're like, I like high volume and I like sports and I like photographing rock stars and I like photographing people and I want digital files or I don't or whatever it is, it sort of allows you to go and see a little sample platter of everything. There are usually 80 speakers covering a lot of different photography media niches and topics. I love it because gosh, when you're new and you just, you're overwhelmed by choices, it's really that sampler platter of photography education. It's not your main education course on business. It's mostly focused on photography. They mix a little business in, but everybody's on this stage speaking because they're an excellent photographer, not necessarily because they're making money. So be careful if you're going there expecting to learn how to make money because not everybody speaking there is making money. But if you're looking for photography skills and inspiration and tools and you go to the trade show and touch and feel everything, Super, super great opportunity. And whether you're a super high level professional or even an amateur, you're dabbling or you're dreaming that maybe one day you could be a professional, this conference will have something for you. And again, this conference moves around every year. This year in 2023, it's in Nashville, Tennessee. I do love the huge trade show. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all because you can touch and feel and you can ask all the techie questions of the cameras, the camera companies and the labs and all the people there in person. You can feel all the finishes from the different labs. White House Custom Color is my lab. If you don't have a pro lab, check them out, whcc.com. And I love touching and feeling all of their products, their albums, their books before I commit to offering that product at my studio. Love, love, love the trade show. And I will tell you one thing that some advice that someone gave me, my like second or third conference I went to, they said, don't buy any equipment on the first day because it's so exciting. Like I gotta have this and that and this and that. And then you wake up the next day and go, oh, I wish I wouldn't have bought all those things. Or maybe you find something better that you wanna invest in. So wait till the last day and then go back and purchase what you want. Sometimes vendors will even give you better specials cause they're like, I'm done, I'm ready to leave. Like just buy whatever and, and you can have a special price. Number two, Go Boutique Live, which is a three day conference and it's virtual this year. 
but this is a deep dive on everything boutique. So this is not an appetizer platter. This is the main course. And this is an event I created for photographers who want to make money doing babies, seniors, pets, families, kids, creating beautiful artwork. It's not selling digital files for a small amount of money and working all the time. <laughs> it's for people who have less time, whether they're full-time parents or work another job or wanna have a full-time income working part-time. Go Boutique Live is the only event in the world just for boutique photographers and focusing on photographers who want to make money and yes, serve people, but making money. It's three days and it's packed with personal growth a network of like-minded photographers, marketing ideas, selling ideas, pricing ideas, business skills like crazy. What's cool is this one is virtual, so you don't have the expense of traveling. Some years it's in person, some years it's virtual, but it's a linear. The other conferences are like pick and choose, you can pop in and out. Go Boutique Live is linear from start to finish and it's curated with all of the messages being consistent because that's what I found when I went to my first conference and it was an appetizer platter. All of the information being given was conflicting and I didn't have a filter to put it through. It's sort of like taking random puzzle pieces of different puzzles and not having a picture on the puzzle box. So Go Boutique Live has the puzzle, has the puzzle box and all of the pieces go to that puzzle. In 2023, it happens February 28th through March 2nd. So it's the February, February 28th, March 1st, and March 2nd. What's cool at Go Boutique Live is that it's virtual and photographers virtually can learn how to make the income they deserve and put their family first. I want that for you. You'll hear from a killer lineup of incredible speakers. Most are working photographers like you and some are really cool people that I know that you would have never found on your own. And they pour great ideas into you and your business. And it's unlike any other event that focuses on the technical skills of photography. Go Boutique Live only focuses on business and marketing and specifically what's working now for boutique photography business owners. And you don't have to have a studio to be boutique. So everybody is welcome. And the third event that I just love is called WPPI, stands for Wedding and Portrait Photographers International. And this conference every year stays in Vegas because Vegas is pretty easy to get in and out of. They have about 120 classes during the couple day period, mostly on photography, which is amazing. They have photography competitions, demonstrations, they have parties, they have photo walks. It's a super fun party-like atmosphere. Very much like Imaging USA, it's great for beginners, especially if you haven't chosen your business model yet because Go Boutique Live is for portrait photographers who want to photograph babies, pets, families, people, and create and offer beautiful artwork for people to have in their homes from wall portraits to books to albums, that kind of thing. But WPPI is great and it's really a sampler platter. So many genres from weddings to sports to portraits to high volume. I think they even have a track for videographers too. So, so much to learn about the craft, which is so important. So whether you're a professional or an amateur, this conference will have something for you. Like Imaging USA, WPPI also has a huge trade show where you can check out all the different vendors with products from camera companies to camera bags and supplies and equipment and tools labs, all the cool fun things that we love as photographers. But just be careful. I'd rather you purchase a camera and a reflector and then invest in learning how to grow your business so that your business makes the money for you to buy all the fun camera equipment and tools and toys that you want just because you can. And you can write them off, which is what a big benefit of having a photography business is. Right at the least, it funds your, your joy. So listen, if you're looking for an opportunity to learn all things photography, be sure to check out one or all of these great events in 2023. And I know you won't regret it. And look, if you're a boutique photographer who wants to set your boutique photography business up to thrive this year in just three days, and you don't wanna leave your family and you don't wanna to travel to do it, get your ticket to Go Boutique Live. It's February 28th through March 2nd, all day long, clear your days. You'll learn exactly what's working for boutique photographers in this ever-changing economy 
And you'll get to plug into a community of photographers dedicated to serving their families and their clients. So get your ticket now before they sell out at goboutiquelive.com. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it right here so you can get more content to help you grow your photography business. And if you love today's video, click right here to get more actionable steps. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.